while back, Paul Akers shared a video on Facebook of guys logging into work uh, using a barcode scanner versus typing it in on the back of a keypad on their barcode scanner. And it, uh, it saved five seconds per person uh, in doing that process. And uh, the comment that I made on it, and as I showed in the video, the just the typing in it was really complicated. And my, my comment on that was, even if it didn't save many more time, it's so much easier and it would remove, um, you know, it would remove that struggle and make it easier for the, the employee. And uh, Paul answered back and said, you know, but they all add up. And I, and I know that those, those two second improvements all add up. And then the other day I was listening to a book and it was talking about compound interest. And many of you have heard the story of the, you know, the guy that starts when he's 18 and saves uh, $2,000 a year versus the guy that starts when he's uh, 28 and saves $2,000 a year that even though he puts in three times as much money, the guy that started earlier had, because of compound interest has uh, much more uh, in the end at retirement time. And uh, I got thinking about that and I said, you know, it's got to be the same on a two second improvement. So uh, I ran that by my guys and let me show you what That's I can. funny thing, I, we ran and we talked about both of those examples and I ran it by my guys and the problem was my math was wrong. I did it linearly and I said, you know what, a two second improvement today and tomorrow and the next day uh, that's 10 seconds a week, that's 50 times three, that's 520 seconds a year. And when I ran those numbers, you know, by 10 employees, it sounded kind of big, but my guys were kind of, it, it just didn't, it didn't seem right. And then I realized the mistake that I had made. And so I forgot the actual compounding of that in the two second improvement. And so here's the numbers that we came up with. So every day for the first week, we make a two second improvement. So that's our first row. But on, the, on Tuesday, we get the savings in the, the process that we improved by two seconds the day before, we still get that savings. And so now we have a net of four seconds. And then the next day, it's the same thing. And so now we're six seconds. The bottom line is at the end of the week that we have saved 30 seconds in that first week. And now the next uh, week, the 30 seconds, because it's already in process, saves us another 50 uh, seconds. And then, we take the 50 seconds that we did the week before or, or that we're going to get in the, in the second week and we improve again another 30 seconds. So by the end of that first week, we've saved a, almost a minute and a half. Much, much bigger numbers. And this is for just one employee making a two second improvement. So my, my simple answer to that, how much is that in a year? The answer is it's a lot. But I called my uh, smart son-in-law and had him figure this out for me in a year. Uh, making one employee making a daily two second improvement would save 68,382 seconds by the end of the year, which works out to be 1,139 minutes, just under 19 hours, like 18.997 hours in a year. And so that is the miracle of compounding two second improvements. If you have 10 employees, that's 190 hours. That's what we would figure we could save on that, doing that kind of improvement. A uh, much bigger number than the 520 seconds that I came up with the first time. The guys were much more impressed with that and the value was there. So I uh, hope this helps out and that you can use it in your own uh, businesses.